Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with today's mini challenge in the challenge number two. This is for our May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge, and there is a details video about May Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge in the description box down below if you'd like to join us. And I'll be talking more about that throughout the video. So for our challenge, we are going to make a little journal or a mini journal using a greeting card. So these are some cards that I had picked up um, at Barnes & Nobles. And they are beautiful vintage images. And they're by Punch Studio, which is one of my favorite um, things to companies to use items from. And so we're just going to pick out a card. I'm going to look at all of them first. And so, um, yeah, so all of these came in a, in a box. And I'm going to, and they came with envelopes, but I'm going to use this one because we are going, since I still have all the Paris theme items out, I thought that this would be a fun one to go with. And so you can see our, the size is about, <sighs> scissors in the way, uh, about just under three and a half. So three and three eighths by four and three quarters at the top here. And, um, so if we pull this out, this is the width that we're going for, which is going to be six and three quarters. So anywhere from six to six and a half inches wide is what will be a good, a good page for this. So I have pulled out some items. I have Romance Novel by Prima. And it was from Hobby Lobby for $5.99. And it is a double, oh, it's not double sided, sorry. It is a paper pad, but it has beautiful images in it. It has several cut apart pages, which I've already cut some pages out. And so we, we will be using that. I grabbed some doilies, some other random papers, and an envelope that was within that amount okay so and some lined paper here that is beautifully aged and i have some mini envelopes and some stickers that were out of items that i'm trying to use up i still have my paris washi tape out as well as the my favorite black striped and i have some bling and then i went ahead and i pulled out some images from the Paris Trejolie digital kits. There's two of them. One of them is a postcard kit. One of them is an ephemera and pages kit. This right here, I took the big pages and I told my computer I wanted four of them printed at three and a half by five. And that gave me those. And so I think those are going to be great pages for, um, for this. And then this is also, these images are from the Pages and Ephemera digital kit. You can see we have all kinds of ephemera with the Eiffel Tower and um, with the postcards there. And then these are from the postcard, Trejoli postcard kit. So I there is a page, there's this that you can... Um, cut out and these can be belly bands or you can make pockets out of them. Um, we'll be doing some fun stuff with those pages. I'll probably use that, those two postcards as a page. So again, I took four of the files and I printed them at three and a half by five. Um, this is at five by seven. So I might be able to use these. We'll kind of, kind of play with that. Um, that could be a page. Um, this could go on, or these could even go on the backs of other pages, maybe. And then we have one of the pages, the ad page from 
the French Fashionista digital kits. So these digital kits are available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop and they are on sale right now for 50% off while we're home. So um, the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna want some pages. So let's go ahead and just cut this out. So we are gonna make a mini journal out of a greeting card. So you are gonna make a, for your mini challenge in the challenge, um, and I'll give the full details at the end of this video. Um, okay, so yeah, we can go ahead. Let's pull that off. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep that. Okay, and then let's open this up. And remember, we needed to be under six and a half. So let's go. We'll go to six and a quarter for these sheets. Okay. And then I think we'll go with, uh, I want to keep these papers within that area. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that just like that and cut it. Okay. And then we'll use this one to measure. We're at three, one dot after three and a half. <laughs> so what, three and five eighths probably. So let's turn this this way. So that'll give us some writing pages in here. And this one is going to also Fit. It's underneath, it's under that amount. So we'll have all those pages that we will be able to use. And now let's go ahead and we'll start with this because I think I want that. I'm going to go ahead and cut this page right here. So this will be a single signature is what I'm, I'm figuring, single signature. And go ahead and cut that. But I think it'll make a nice little quick gift that you can make and so trying to give you ideas for journals during this um, at least one of the mini challenges each time and I know that it's been good for me to have these and have them made and have a little <laughs> a gift already made that's a little more might be a little more generic but also um, having it already ready. Okay, so so you could just go it. No, I, I probably wouldn't, but you could just have that be a page. So there we've got her and she can go on another page or she can, um, and then we've got, she could go on the back of a page, like just, turned over and be on the back of a page. We'll see. Okay, and then we've got these that can be ephemera. This is a cigarette card. It's one of my favorite, favorite ephemera pieces that I have collected. So let's go ahead and we're gonna cut these down. And you can tell those are going to be a little bit big, but before we do any um, anything with them, I want to. Um, I poss probably will f do some creative folding with them. So let's go ahead and just get them ready. So 
So those are ready. And I think we'll save those, but these pieces can all go in the trash. And let's see, so we do have another page of pages. So let's go ahead and grab these. And you can take this page and have it just be the background for all the pages. I, I wish I'd have done that, but I didn't. So but that's okay. So yeah, this this um this is the pages and ephemera. Paris Trejoli is what they're called, and there's two digital kits. There's two different ones. I love the colors of them. They are the aqua or turquoise and peach, and I think they'll be perfect for this, for what we're doing here. Okay. So those are gonna that's gonna give us two more pages right there and I would normally probably go ahead and make several of these little books at the same time so today I'm just gonna make the one and that is to save uh, video time for you but having the stuff out and just mass producing these um, is how I would normally do these. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. Make sure we're straight on there. So. Yeah, so this is a, a great digital kit to use along with the um, the French Fashionista. I think would be a great I love this page right here. It's so simple with just the, the little cigarette card down here in one corner and the calling card up in the other corner. Okay. And I think after we have this, I think with just the couple of other kinds of pages that I've put together, we'll have enough pages. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and just slice it down in case I want to use these as belly bands because that is how this, um, this page was laid out. Okay, so just like that. And... Let's go ahead and cut a little off of here. There's also, in this kit, there's also a music page that has um, the song, Paris Très Jolie. And that's how this series got its name. Okay. So that's ready to be ephemera. Then we have all of these pages that are ephemera. So this is from the ephemera and pages kit, and this is from the postcard kit. Okay, so these are going to make great pockets, I think. So we'll see. I have some stamps over here that we might use as well. And so let's go ahead and get started. I also have this if I want to use it. So let's go ahead and start folding the pages. This, um, this notebook 
was in my mom's stash and I don't I don't know how old it is but it's very um, very weathered it just naturally just naturally aged which I think is pretty cool okay so there's those you're gonna be ephemera but you can be a page okay and you can be a page So also, any of the mini journal kits that are in the Dear Julie Julie um, digitals would work for this as well. Um, being able to just cut the, the mini journal pages out and use them. Okay. Remember, we'll probably have to do some creative folding on these. I don't... Oh, maybe not. Look at... Look! Yay! Okay. Okay, so there's all those. We have an envelope. And I think if we close the envelope... And then we'll have the choice of being able to cut it here or cut it at the top. I'm just going to go ahead and seal it. Fold it in half. And we can decide what to do with it once it's inside the journal. I think we'll go ahead and fold one of the doilies. Put it in. We'll save the other one. I have these pages as well. So I think we'll, we'll go ahead and do a couple of those. One like that and one like this. And then we have this also. And so let's go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and cut around it. Okay, this will give us the... Okay, there's a leaf right there. So we'll just cut to the leaf. And pull that out. Have the meat. Okay. And then we should be able to put that in. If I did it. Yeah, I did it. Right. Okay. And then we'll come over here. Put this down. We need it to... Go right there, and you know what? This could be a pocket. And you know, I like pockets, and I cannot lie. Okay, so we can put it in like this, and it could either be a pocket or it can be a flip down. So, um, so we'll see. But there, I like that. Okay, so that gives us that. And then we have a couple of really pretty pages in here that I think will look really cool in this. So that one was one and this one. Okay. And 
this one. And I think those are going to be just be really pretty in there. Okay. Put this away. Okay, so um, if we fold this one in half, okay, and where's our okay? I don't want to lose that balloon, so I'm thinking of going across. So on this side, I'm going to come across, and that's just because I don't want to lose this balloon. I think it's so cool. We had balloons here in our little town yesterday, but we we didn't get to see them. Um, we missed them, but there was two, two hot air balloons flew. They do that quite often from here, um, or they used to do them quite often. They'll usually do uh, New Year's Day, and then they do some excursions from from where we are. Okay, so there's that. It'll also give us that. Okay, I like that. So it gives us another one of the. Okay, okay. So now this one. We'll do this one with that full effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and line this up. Now, could this one, no, I was going to say, could this one go ahead and flip up? No, can't flip up. So we'll come to this side and just cut around that. And we'll be able to use that for other things. Now here, yeah, I can't really flip that up, but nope. Okay. Um, Try all the different <laughs> different things. We could flip it down. It could have. It could be a top tuck. That just really. So this is what you're going to see. I think we'll do this way. And then we can use, because those tops can be cut for something else, right? I want a pocket out of it. We'll just put something over that. I've got some gold seals, some other things, and we'll just put something over that. Maybe we can find something out of the antiquarian um, sticker book that we can put over it. Okay, this will give us a pocket. And you know, I do like to use cardstock for a couple of the pockets if I can. I really like the way um, when you flip it up, you get, that helps with the white space. I like that very much. So we'll go ahead, flip that over. Okay, and we'll cut it out. Okay, so greeting card, mini album, mini journal. It can be any size greeting card. So if you have a regular size greeting card, you can go ahead and use that. 
um, you can use a used greeting card. It doesn't have to be a brand new one. Okay, so there we have our beautiful, I think we've got a good amount of items. And then we also have this. And I like it with the black and white. And then also it has the orange on the inside, which I thought was would really be cool with that. And um, so let's go ahead. We could have this could be the inside. Okay. But I was also, I have this that came in Happy Mail that I was thinking might be kind of pretty on the inside as well. Just as a pretty thing that you saw when you opened, opened it. So if we do this, or we can do this. I like this better. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. Come and flip it up. Okay, and it only needs to go to about here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I don't want to... Okay, so let's put this through. And this was in some paper that I had that just... Scraps that needed to be used up. It's from either Hey You or Hey Girl or Hey Boy one of those um, paper pads that I have. Okay, so there's that. We'll be able to attach it there and then we'll cut it to fit. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue. We have some of the bandage, and that's what I like to use. It was gifted to me, this bandage tape, and I'm going to use that as my reinforcement to the center there. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and put that down. Okay, so that reinforces our spine right there. You could put it on the outside as well if you wanted to. Okay. Come and clean up this. Add our glue. All the way to the edge. I'm just gonna make one today because <laughs> four time. Okay, I'm gonna make sure my pocket is on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and set this inside. I need to line up my bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead. And the back of this card is a little shorter than the front. Beautiful, beautifully beautiful. Okay, so we'll clean up the cover. That's the fluff. All the fluff and stuff. So there's our little our cover. 
we have a pocket on the inside. I am going to go ahead and glue my pocket down. sew this on okay so be right back okay so we have stitched all the way around the outside okay and we have our cover hooray so again if you're doing more than one you can just go ahead and stitch them all at the same time I love 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 the way that feels and so let's go ahead and start picking our pages. Now this, we can go ahead and fold this also. And that will give us another page inside. And I think that's exciting. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Cut it round like we've been cutting them. Okay. And that can be there. Okay. So we have this one that has pockets. Love it. And of course we'll put something over the top of that. I have some seals. We'll just go ahead and cover that now. Ooh. Have that taken care of. There we go. And you could emboss that and have it have an embossed seal. That would be really cool. But there we go. Okay. So one of the other things that I thought would be pretty right when you open it is this page. Maybe um, surrounded by one of those pages. Okay, I like that. So now we have writing paper. We wanna make sure we're using the writing paper in there and it comes out a little bit, but that's fine. I have an idea. Okay, so will that, yeah. Make sure it's going to be inside there. And then we have our... Okay, so if we put these so that we can... Put them in um, some type of order here. So we have a doily and a doily. We have two short pieces. We have a couple more of those. We have our envelope. These are all of our, those. There's our black piece. Thought we had more than one of the black pieces. Did I already use one? No. So let's go ahead and I'll fold another black piece. It's okay because I've, I've got so many of these I can use them and out there <laughs> naturally we find it after. Okay so here we go. So a little bit of that, a little bit of that, maybe one of these and
couple pieces here. Of, and then we'll have used up all of our pages. So um, I like that. We have that. don't like that so it's just a matter of moving your pages around until you like what you see okay so Treasure Lee scrapbook cardstock little black paper and then one of these there's our Treasure Lee then we have this and we'll we'll be cutting that down probably or we can even fold it over and it can become a little tuck spot there. We'll see. Um, anyway, then we have our three papers, then a little black paper. This can be a pocket. And then there's that. Tuck, pocket. Really, Trejoli. Then that. A couple of note papers, three note papers little black paper that and then our center of our signature okay I do I like it very very much I'm gonna go ahead and let's make sure so I like where everything is so now let's go through and make sure that everything is um, in a good spot so I'm thinking I want I want to turn this into a pocket. Let's see, what do we get on this side? Yeah, we'll go, go with just the black on this side. Okay, so we want to make sure that this is going to They'll be together. There we go. Okay, so there's that. It's gonna, these two are gonna get put together and be a pocket. There's that. There's that. There's that. So now I'm lining everything up and making sure, especially those things that we're gonna be putting together, making sure that they're all in in line order okay so like these two we want to put together so we want to make sure that they're lined up Okay, one more time that last part. Okay, bring this down because I felt it all move when we were when we were doing stuff there. Okay, okay, I like it very much. Okay, now we'll go ahead and grab our paper clips. Okie dokie, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put this one in from the bottom. Put this one in from the top. This one in from the top. And this one in from the bottom. Okay, I do have 
a variety of pull, you know, things are different places apart. And but we're gonna do a three hole pamphlet stitch. I am not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna go ahead put my pokey tool and in this case my pokey tool is this little pin it's a push pin I struggle to hold on to the all so um, so this is what I use okay punch through and then let's come down here So what I have on my desk is a little pad. It comes from, this one came from a coloring mouse pad. Okay, but I, I've gotten notepad mouse pads at Hobby Lobby. And then I can use, I use the little pad on my desk to hopefully not go through my desk. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the smallest needle that I can. And I get my needles at Dollar General and I get the home repair needles. And these down here, you just position your thread, pull it downward, and it's threaded. So that's what it is. I really struggle to see. <laughs> it's the, um, the needle to thread it, and it was getting really irritating, especially when I was on camera, to not be able to thread needles. I'm like, I remember when I was a kid, there were self-threading needles or whatever, and I found some, and right here at Dollar General. So you just take your little needle, lay it on your thread and like I said I use the smallest needle that I can thread well I just got lucky because this one works I'm using crochet thread unfortunately I do not know the size because people gave them to me and they don't I've never had one come with the packaging on it so it's just it's crochet thread Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go down through the center, up through the top hole here, down through the center, up through the top, go sorry about that and then I'm gonna come up under my top piece let's go ahead and tighten everything make sure we're good and tight good and tight there we go and then double knot it okay and right now while I have the thread in here, or the needle, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple <coughs> of things to my, um, to my signature, because I do like things added to the signature string. So I have, there's an orange butterfly which I think is kind of cool because there's butterflies on the cover of this. And I'm just going to go ahead and it doesn't have a hole. So I'm going to give it a hole. Oh, there's two butterflies. That's even cooler. Okay. Um, that was not on purpose, but this is going to be really, really cool. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and come down towards the back of the body and put another hole. Now, if your sequin has the holes, then just use your the holes that the sequin has, but don't be discouraged if your sequin doesn't have the holes or if you've made your own. Okay, and I'm going to like that it's hanging out. Um, this time, I'm going to come up underneath.
and tie it in there. I just don't want this to, <laughs> look at what it did. I don't want it to fall off. Okay, so there. I have it tied off. And let me go ahead and just tie a couple of knots on my string here. So this is another way you can add some beads or something, but I'm just going to add a couple of knots down here underneath. And if I don't like them, you know, I can, there we go. And then I can cut my, my thread. So that will hang down. The other one I can take care of later, but I just wanted to do that one while the needle was still attached. So now we can go ahead and undo our, <coughs> yeah, they, they, they are not nice to each other. <laughs> These kitties. Okay, so there is my very fluffy little journal. Okay, love it so far. We're still we're still working on it. So this is what we have. So the next thing I would do is I go through and I what I call break the paper. So I'm gonna go through and make sure that you know whoever is using this is going to be able to open all the pages and so that's that's what I, I do next then I'll go through and I will close up the pockets okay so that's your next thing is to go through and close up the pockets now um, again this is our mini challenge in the challenge journal and so we have several, several pages in this one. So let's count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So there's 23 pages. There's 92 pages in here front and back right now before we start combining and putting pages together. That's a lot of pages, but as you can see, it's a nice little, little journal. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be really, really cool. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do, uh, probably like the head, um, a headband journal where or closure will put a little knob or a button here and it will go around and then clasp so it will hold the whole thing so next what I want to do is okay so I I want to, your mini challenge your journal is to have 15 or more pages okay so 15 or more pages a variety of at least five different types of papers so in ours we have our digital we have our little black post-it note we have scrapbook paper we have digitals a um, couple of sizes and we have uh, the note paper we also have this calendar paper a doily, and um, the other scrapbook paper. Okay, so those are all different kinds of papers. So at least five different kinds of papers. Let's put this back in in the drawer. Okay, let's write our write our list. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay. So, greeting card, cover. Pocket inside, somehow you're gonna make a pocket inside. 15 papers, at least five different kinds. Okay, so ledger paper, map, all those different papers that we use, the noisy paper, uh, coffee dyed paper, note paper, all those count as different types of paper, cardstock. Um, okay, so there, and then you need to have um, 10 inserts. Okay, and your inserts can be, you know, the little cards that are going to go. You can make little cards to go in. They can be um, an envelope, however you want them to be. Okay, so 10 inserts. And let's keep moving. Okay, so I think I want a belly band. And I was looking at this one here. And... And then let's see what is the other side of that one look like. The other thing, the other place that I was thinking of is good would be a good belly band is this. Okay, and you see I have these are made to be belly bands, and they, I sh if they were printed on cardstock, it would be better. Um, I'm thinking that one right there will make a. A good belly band so let's go ahead we're just going to cut this across and then we'll measure for good measure so if it was there I'll take just just the hair off the edge here I'll go ahead and put this down the glue is coming out but it's very very little I love the fine tip on this glue though okay so there that's gonna give me a belly band and then I can just grab one of the pretty tags that I had from the scrapbook paper. I had already cut these out so that we wouldn't have to wait for me to cut them out. Now with the belly band, if, you, if it doesn't seem like it's going to hold, you can also put something down at the bottom. But I think we're going to be fine here. We're going to not put that in while it's drying. We're going to let it dry. Okay, so there's that one. And then um, I'm thinking that one of these could be a pocket. Something could be a pocket on the inside here. So what other... Oh, we have all of these. So we have this. Um, and then we have all of these. I'm thinking that one right there. Okay. So these were printed at three and a half by five, and these are from the postcard Treasure Lee Paris Treasure Lee postcard kit from Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little pocket. This is our the center of our signature here. We'll put a little Eiffel Tower pocket on this side. I think I'll actually make it a tuck. That will give us more room for putting something in there. Okay. 
So we need, if we need 10 inserts, we need 10 places to put inserts. So that's what I'm going to do right here is give you 10 different places to put inserts. So we did a belly band. Now we're going to do a tuck. Okay, so a postcard tuck. So belly band. Postcard tuck. And a postcard tuck, to me, is just a rectangle of some sort. It could even be out of the um, scrapbook paper. Okay, so there we go. Postcard tuck. And then we're going to do a top tuck. And for that, I'm going to see if we have... See, this can this is going to be able to to do something like that um, let's see what do I have that I want to put a tuck up here using that um, Oh, 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 look, we have this piece. Okay, so if we cut this piece across, actually, yeah, we'll cut this piece across. We will glue this down and then cut it, and that will give us a top tuck. Okay, so top tuck. Just go ahead and glue it. It's going to come down. Okay, then we're going to put this. Yeah, it can go that way. So gluing that down, and I still have my oval, or <laughs> my curve, and I'll be able to come back and cut the curve, okay? So, and we'll be able to put something inside that top tuck, okay? So something inside that top tuck, just like that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so this needs to get cut. I like seeing this. Okay, so so if we just go ahead and fold this over we don't lose the lady and the dog. Okay. See the lady and the dog there? Um, okay, so we have these. And these are calling cards and then that cigarette card. I'm going to cut around the edges of this one. I'm going to leave the other side flat. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to come over and make this a little flap. Okay, so it'll make that page pretty. We don't lose the lady and her dog. Come 
um, a little a little shorter because um, I don't want to lose the rows either. Okay. There we go. So just a different way of, of adding a piece. Be like a little tab here. Okay, there, there's a little tab, and okay, but there's that. I like that. Okay, and we took care of one of those ones that were coming, that were sticking out the edge. I think this one here. Go ahead and just rip this one. I have a big picture of this that my son got me. That's it's going getting ready to go in the guest room. Okay, so there's that. So we come over here. Our next one is over here, and I think we can go ahead and tear this one also. Okay, and then we have one more. This one. I think we can tear that one too. Okay, so the edges are all taken care of in that way. Okay, so now remember we were going to go ahead and close this pocket. So we'll add our glue. So this is, what are we going to call this? Two white page pocket. Note paper pocket. Because look at that's note paper. It's like post it note. So that's a note paper pocket. Note paper pocket. Okay, there we go. And you can go ahead and just cut it up to the edge and then pull it off. Okay, so here we have our little our cardstock pocket. So this was our flip up cardstock pocket. Okay, so flip up cardstock pocket. PKT. Okay, so we took our cardstock and we flipped it up, and that makes it a cardstock, a flip up cardstock pocket. Okay, so what we're looking for is 10 places that you can add um, add an insert okay okay so here we have um, back to back digitals or back to back white space and you're just trying to get rid of white space so uh, I'm gonna say back to back pocket okay so back to back pocket. And sometimes I'll use this, as, especially when I'm like ready to just be done with the journal and there's two pages of just plain white with nothing. Now, one of the things I like to do with the two page, so we're gonna call it a back to back pocket. And, um, and a lot of times that will be the really big pockets in my journals. 
This time, of course, not so much. And then I like to take one of the, you know, a hole punch that's going to be the right size for, for what it is. Like, I'm not going to put a one-inch hole punch here. If that's all you have, you can. You can even use um, a regular hole punch. But there, and that will give me um, a, a little hole. It makes it easier to put your, whatever you're putting in, makes it easier to put it in. Okay. Okay, so that's a back-to-back pocket. Here we're going to have a page tuck. Okay, we're going we're gonna to call this a page tuck. Page tuck. And that's where we're going to take a whole page that we put into the journal and we're going to turn it into a tuck. Now instead of just, um, you can go ahead and put glue in the edge over here and that's going to help to hold whatever is in it. It's going to give you a little bit better hold. So there we go. We're going to call that a page tuck. Okay, so we used an actual page. Put it to a to a page. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Page tuck. Okay, so this is another flip up pocket. And on that, you could um, either make that a pocket, or you can cut it here and pull it down, especially since it did have lines for writing space. Okay. But I like pockets and I cannot lie. Okay, so there's that. So there's that. Here's our belly band. Here's our top tuck and our postcard tuck. If we put that down, that would be a note paper pocket, but we're not going to. I may have to come in with, well, at least we're getting our um, pockets put down because that that is part of having this put together is having your pockets glued down. Okay, so we can go ahead and make this one also a page tuck. Don't worry, we're, we're going to do some more things. <laughs> right now we're going to get all of our pages, our pockets taken care of. Okay. Okay. So here's another page to page or back to back. So that's a so one of them we're going to call it back to back. Our other one cuz we're going to call it a um, pull tab pocket because we'll put a pull tab type item in it. So we're just going to call okay. So pull tab pocket. Okay, so you can have just a plain old back-to-back. -back. It can have the whole cut out. And then you can have one that has um, a pull tab. Okay, so. So you're going to have ten places at least to put things. And these are some of... There. Okay, so a pull tab is then going to have this, and then you'll have something on it 
right here that fits in that's a tab. Okay, and that's what makes it a pull tab pocket. Okay, and I think we're almost to the end of our pockets. Let's see. Go ahead and and you can do the same thing on both sides of your your papers like I've done there. Back to back was on both both in the front of the journal and in the back of the journal where those same pages were. So we can do the same thing again with the note paper pocket. We can go ahead and add another note paper pocket back here. pocket, no paper pocket. Okay, so that's going to give us a nice little pocket right there. Okay, so we need, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, well, the, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is a double tuck. You can go ahead and make your own envelope using your mini envelope punch board if you have one. You can go ahead and use an envelope that you might have in, this is a coin envelope, but you could use that, okay? We are going to make a, a double tuck. Yes, you can even add a double tuck to a little tiny, journal like this. Okay. Okay, so that one has that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this, my double tuck here. And the way that I'm going to add it is I have my envelope. I'm going to go ahead and go down the center of the flap and across from top to bottom on the flap. Okay, so I'm going to put it on this side and because there's writing space on that other side is why I'm doing it this way, okay? So there's that. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna end up with two places on this side to add little, little cards. So maybe a telegram card and this little card, something like that, okay? Now I'm probably gonna wanna decorate this area right here, and but there you go. So there's double tuck, and then that's gonna give us a place to have an insert here, and two inserts there, okay? Um, let's see, so double tuck. Okay, find
Okay, so another thing that you can do is you can take your flap of your envelope and you can attach it into a pocket. So it could attach I don't want it to cover the pretty side. So let's come to this this one over here and see if we can. Okay. Okay. And you can attach that and it can just be a a flip. Okay? But it's going to give you an insert place. So let's go ahead and the way that we're going to do this one is we're going to attach it here. Okay, so it can go inside there. Now, a small envelope like this could also go into a pocket in a larger, a larger journal. But for this one, we're just going to put it inside this area here and then we're gonna have to clean it up because we have luckily this glue cleans up pretty easily you just ball it up before it's totally dry there you go there you go another reason I love this glue it's for you know when you make mistakes like that so we'll be able to put something inside this pocket, either from this side, or we can close this up and it can come in from this side as instead. So, um, so that is a flip, a pocket flip, pocket flip. Okay, so a double tuck. A pocket flip, belly band, postcard tuck, top tuck, note paper, pocket, fill up card stock, flip up card stock pocket, back to back pocket, page tuck, pull tab pocket. So I want you to make five of these and with ten inserts. Okay, and you can make more than that. But um, that will be your your little mini mini journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut this here and clean up our top tuck. Okay, there you go. So this is the setting up your journal and then the, um, the 10 inserts will be in a separate video, okay? So it'll be 10 embellishments that we'll do in a separate video. And then we'll also do the closure in the other video. So um, that'll be tomorrow's video, 10 inserts and the closure. Okay, so for this mini challenge, you are to make a mini journal out of a greeting card. It can be bigger than this. Again, this is the greeting card that I picked up the box of greeting cards at um, Barnes & Noble. And I think they're amazing. I showed them at the beginning of this, um, this video. And so there's lots and lots of... Um, things that you can do with those cards. Um, so you're going to go ahead and put together your base. Your base needs to have at least 15, 15 papers. So 15 sheets of paper. Mine had 20 something crazy. 23 I think is what I had. And then I went back and I did glue some together. So this has less than the 90 Excuse me, less than the 90-something pages, but it still has a lot of pages. I am going to cut that around those corners right there because 
I keep looking at that and going, those need to be rounded. Ah, that's why, that's why that one was in the other box. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I think I'm going to like that better with it rounded. Okay, yeah, yep, yep. Okay, so. Um, and at least five different pages. Then you're going to make 10 inserts and they need to go into at least five of these things. It can be any five. Okay. And I showed you all of them. So this was our note paper pocket. We used a piece of note paper. Okay. It was one of our pages. You can of course use long, the bigger note paper, but you're going to use a note paper and it's going to it's going to be a pocket. It could be a full pocket like that. Um, but you're going to use note paper as one of, as a pocket is one of your choices. A flip up cardstock. So that's, we took the piece of cardstock, we flipped it up and that gave us a pocket. We have our pocket flip here. No, this is the, sorry, this is the double tech. Okay, so we on this side we have a place for two different things to be able to be tucked in right there. So that is a double tuck and you have your envelope right here that you can also add an item or two. Um, let's see. Here we have our back to back. So we took two of the papers and we put them back to back and glued them together. And that gives us a, text a pocket there. And then here we have our pocket flip. Okay, so we added our flip into the pocket. I used an envelope. You could just use, I mean, we could have folded this and had that be, you know, it could have gone down inside there and be our pocket flip. So, but I used an envelope because I had those envelopes out. Okay, here we have our page tuck. So we took a whole page and added it to another page, giving us a little tuck spot here. There's another flip up. Belly band. So you can have a belly band in your journal and it will hold an insert, okay? And your inserts can be very simple. They can just be um, cards that have been cut out. We don't have to decorate them if you don't want to this time, okay? Then we have our top tuck. So you have a top tuck, you have a postcard tuck, and that's just a rectangular tuck, but I'm going to call it a postcard cut tuck because it's the side, you know, kind of looks like a postcard. That one is a postcard, but <laughs> okay. Have another page tuck. So also you can have a pull tab tuck and that is going to be where we're going to take this little guy like this or this one okay and you see how we have this little hole here well there's going to be something put on there okay so you have your your little thing our little card okay I redid my drawers <laughs> And I found my tiny attacher staples too, but I'm not using them here. So this is a pull tab pocket. So there's our pull tab. Okay. And it just fits in like that. That's a pull tab pocket. There you go. Okay. Another cardstock and another note flip. So showed you the Double tuck, pocket flip, belly band, postcard tuck, top tuck, note paper tuck, flip up card stack, 
back-to-back -back pocket, page tuck, and a pull tab pocket. So you make five from that list with, and then 10 inserts, and that will be your mini challenge in the challenge number two for May. I, it looks like I am going to have to go in and cut just a little bit out of the creep there. Um, I will be adding a little bit of lace. I found, I've been wondering where this went to and I finally found it. So I have this little thing of lace and I'll be able to add a little, some little pieces of lace and that will help with some of that. And, um, there you go. So this, and then we'll be doing the closure in the next video as well. So I'll be doing 10 inserts or probably more than that, but I'll do the inserts and embellishments and the closure in the next video. So that will be, that will premiere tomorrow at 1030 and um, here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. And I cannot wait to see what you make. When you finish with your challenge project, you're going to want to go to the May Mayhem uh, 2020 Junk Journal Challenge Facebook group and place it in the mini challenge in the challenge number two. You to put your, po uh, your picture in that post. And I look forward to seeing it there. So if you want more information for the May Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge, the details videos in the description box down below. We'll be back today at 4 o'clock with our Beginner's Junk Journal series. We're just about ready to start our Reader's Digest Journal. And then after that, we're going to be making a little golden book. We'd love to have you. And so see you there. So find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to go watch one of these videos because YouTube really likes that. And if you're here from, for the premiere, I'm waving and saying hi. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.